Hi everyone, it's Kirsten here with CEO of GoodNotes, Stephen Chan at their HQ in London. Here I sounds like GoodNotes is launching some exciting new features, so I'm excited to be here. So it sounds like this might be GoodNotes' biggest update yet, or how would you compare it to past updates from GoodNotes? Thank you for having me. So it's definitely uh, the biggest update ever since 2011, so I'm so excited. I'm so proud of the team. You know, it's really interesting to see the growth of things like GoodNotes and iPad. I actually got started with GoodNotes when it was GoodNotes 4 at the time, so I feel like it's changed quite dramatically. You know, every time I open up the app, there's something new and exciting. What's funny is that, you know, 99% of the time that I use the iPad, it's with the Apple Pencil. So I was actually pretty surprised with the introduction of text document. Can you speak a little bit more about text document and your vision behind it and why you introduced it? Yes, definitely. So we have really enjoyed um, building probably one, probably one of the most popular note-taking app uh, for the tablets for using with the stylus. Uh, I think it really, really makes it feel really natural to um, take notes with the stylus, almost like pen and paper. But we have been really thinking for a long time, how do we um, expand um, to include other type of note-taking, particularly with typing. So that's why uh, we thought it's the right time for us to launch text documents so that you can easily use, take, uh, use GoodNotes to take notes on your phone, on, a, on your laptop, on your desktop, not just um, with a stylus. So we want to build GoodNotes uh, into one of the most iconic note-taking brands in the world. Whenever I was using text document, it was pretty natural to use, especially with the keyboard, like the backslash does, you know, it pulls up the, the different basic blocks that you can use to do your headings and your tables and your images and all that. So I thought that was really well done. But text document isn't the only new feature coming out with GoodNotes. Now there's also you know, whiteboard. Can you speak more about whiteboard and the vision behind that? We are very excited about whiteboard. Whiteboard or Infinite Canvas is um, the most requested features from our users over many years. It's quite challenging to build uh, technically. Um, now people with whiteboard can write, take notes, sketch without boundaries. And then we even added uh, very good uh, real-time collaboration features so that you can have ideation, brainstorming with people even when you're remote. So that's why uh, we also added um, new features like diagramming because along with whiteboard, you may probably want uh, more advanced diagramming features, not just for sketching, but right. creating proper diagrams. So I'm, I think the team is really proud that we finally, finally can launch whiteboard, which we have been trying to um, make this happen for over a year. I think out of uh, all the features that I've tried that I'm most partial to whiteboard just because I feel like it works really well with how my brain works with kind of having that free canvas of being able to move everything around I like really enjoyed that. I also thought it was interesting with whiteboard that you're able to actually generate your own templates and like choose from the different templates that are in whiteboard too. Yes, so um, it's a little bit different compared to notebooks. Mm -hmm. So with notebooks you may want to pick your cover, you may want to pick your paper templates but for whiteboard, we want to cater to both personal use and also uh, team collaborative use. And we think uh, it's really powerful to have templates that can um, work for you in different scenarios. So you may have a team brainstorming sessions, then you can either pick one of the templates uh, to be used in the whiteboard, or actually you can ask GNOS AI to generate a relevant template for you just for that particular scenario. Mm -hmm. So we think uh, templates are gonna help, really help users to uh, use whiteboards more effectively. Yeah, I, I noticed that with the AI assistant, I, when I pulled it up along the side, like, Originally, I thought, oh, I'll just summarize my key points or, you know, just testing out, see what it can do. But then I realized that you can generate the templates from that. So that kind of brings me to this question. You know, a lot of apps are seeing AI and they kind of want to get the jump on AI and introduce it in their apps. And sometimes it's done well, sometimes not so much. They're just trying to get their foot in the door. So I'm curious how GoodNotes is kind of approaching the topic of AI, kind of building it out more into their app, and then you know how you envision users using it as far as making sure it's not just AI slop, but like something that they actually get value from. It's a good question. So I think with new exciting technology, um, we as a technology company always think how do we leverage the latest technology to create a compelling user experience. So that's why we always um, involve users in terms of like ideation, building, testing, and then we really want to um, ship 
useful features uh, to our users, innovative uh, features to our users. So for example, uh, back then with Ask Linux, mm -hmm. people really enjoy um, AI being able to summarize, being able to answer your questions about your documents, about your notes. Uh, and then for students, they really enjoy using the crispy features. Uh, I think it's really powerful with the new Gnux AI. Now it can even co-create with you, for example, generating um, useful templates or even like, sketch some cute drawings for you. Right. <laughs> so I think it's about involving users in every step of the product development process that we want to ship uh, actually useful AI features. Yeah, whenever I was using it, it felt really well done and lightweight. And what I particularly liked is that it didn't feel like it was in your way. It wasn't like bothering you to use it if you didn't want to use it. You could just kind of pull it up along the side. And I felt like it did really well with like actually getting the information correct and not necessarily just regurgitating that same information, but organizing it in a way that you know made sense to me when I was kind of reviewing my own notes and like testing out on different documents and such. So. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so it kind of sounds like GoodNotes is kind of going in a little bit of a new direction, you know, with the introduction of text documents and whiteboard, and now we're getting a more built out AI assistant, you know, compared to other note-taking note apps and kind of where GoodNotes started, where it's just kind of you know, nitty gritty handwriting, get your notes down, add your images, maybe diagrams. You know, now GoodNotes seems like it's kind of more all in one, like it's trying to be a little bit of everything. You know, just kind of an all in one note taking hub, the one place people can go to to type notes and to handwrite their notes if they want to, or even tap into that AI assistant. So I'm curious if that's kind of the direction you see GoodNotes going and kind of just trying to be what everyone needs versus just strictly, you know, one key feature. I think this is um, the direction we are going into, which is to really build the most iconic looking brand in the world. Um, and then no matter what device you're using, mm -hmm. what input method you want to use, whether it's stylus, keyboard, sketching, or even AI. So uh, we want to always at, be at the forefront of like, what, it is, what is it like to um, take notes. Uh, digitally with the latest technologies. Um, I'm curious, are, are you familiar with uh, PDF digital planners and templates? Yeah. And so that's normally what I do. Like when I first got started with GoodNotes, it was just uh, digital note taking. I was a chemistry major, so I really benefited from having a digital paper because you know you're drawing out really long mechanisms and moving electrons around. It was just a lot. So I really benefited from GoodNotes that way. But you know, as I grew and graduated college, kind of moved into a more professional note taking experience and then digital planning. I wanted to find a way that I could bring like the paper feel to digital paper as well uh, and digital planning. So that kind of brings me to the question of you know, you have so many different user types that you're tapping into. You're tapping into like your student note takers, you know, say middle, high school, and then you have your college level, then you have your working professional, then you have, you know, the people say like stay at home moms or work from home moms, things like that. So everyone has like a different wish list. Everyone has a different feature in mind that they really want. So I'm curious how you manage everybody else's wish list but also like the wish list of the people that work at GoodNotes and kind of how you prioritize different features and integrating those over time. It's a great question. Um, I think we are very fortunate to have uh, such a loyal user base across so many segments. Um, <laughs> I think it's a um, good problem to have that is challenging sometimes to prior what to prioritize basically. But we want to be, we want to keep the simplicity. Mm -hmm. We want to keep the user experience really good that can work across different scenarios, different use cases. But definitely we always look at what our biggest users, user base and then how do we make sure in our product roadmap we have something for each of the um, top, like the biggest user segments while thinking about how do we continue to um, grow the note-taking brand. Um, so this is always um, difficult, sometimes challenging, but we always want to involve users along the way to make sure we make the right decisions. Is there a particular moment or a user story where you realize like, oh, this feature is like really tapping into, you know, the users that we want to capture for our app? <laughs> there are quite a few moments like that. I think I mentioned um, Ask <laughs> Um So before we launched, um, we thought this could be useful, but seeing the actual user reaction, seeing people saying on online that, oh, it's actually useful. It's not just <laughs> another AI feature. Right. Then I, I think I'm so happy. I think the team is so happy. Um, 
So I think Gaskunos is uh, one of them. Then I think um, even way, way, way before, uh, I think we probably one of the first to add the lasso tool. Yes. To, to, <laughs> to, to, to digital note taking. Uh -huh. And people enjoy it so much. This is one of the most used features in GitNotes. I think it's also in other apps as well. Right. So I'm always happy that we come up with some ideas uh, or inspirations that people truly find it useful. Right. And I did discover that um, the GitNotes team has like a week set aside where they can just work on anything that, you know, is on their heart or on their minds of just things that they want to work on and that a lot of those new features also come from that week as well. So that's really interesting to hear. Yeah, so we have a um, quarterly, what we call hack week. Okay. It's almost like a hackathon. Anyone can form teams and then share their ideas and then they try to be a prototype within a week. So the current um, marketplace was born out of that. It was originally a pop-up shop where <laughs> we sell some uh, stickers, panels, right. and then we grew to this um, marketplace that uh, we really appreciate having um, uh, creators as part of our community. It's good to hear. So I'm sure everyone is really excited about all the new features and everyone that was involved in this obviously deserves a well-deserved break. But I'm curious if you can give any little sneak peeks or things that we can, might expect from Good Notes in the future or in the next coming months. Maybe one thing I can say is uh, the first, this is the first version of text document. We are, uh, we'll keep uh, improving it. So one thing we will likely launch soon is being able to mix your handwriting sketches along with the text document itself. So it just comes all together, very immersive. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for joining me and you know getting to see uh, everyone in action and see all the good people that are behind the scenes that create good notes. Thank you for having me. <laughs> great questions. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> I had a great time interviewing Stephen from GoodNotes at their London headquarters. I am working on sharing a massive deep dive and tutorial covering the exciting new features we see in this newest version of GoodNotes, like whiteboard and text document, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Otherwise, you'll find my first impressions in my video comparing all of the different note-taking apps where I consider these new changes to GoodNotes, and I compare them to what changes we're seeing in other iPad note-taking apps. So I'll see you over there.